Uh, Darren, very much a mixed bag when it comes to the blame game on this. Some people saying that certainly when it comes to the medical workers, that actually they're putting lives at risk. Other people saying, as Angela Rayner was actually, the government should have seen this coming and negotiated better earlier. Yeah, indeed, and many feel that the government really have not been focused uh, fundamentally on the issue of strikes in recent months, that ministers are not engaged in these different uh, sectors, that maybe the drama, the psychodrama that we've seen here at Westminster, what, since early September, has sidelined some of those ministers that were chopping and changing all the time and not necessarily negotiating uh, with unions or indeed with the independent bodies sometimes that unions uh, talk to. As from the government's point of view, though, they feel very much uh, these are the trade unions holding the country uh, to ransom. They insist that it is simply not possible to provide everyone with a double-digit pay rise during a cost-of-living crisis because that would stoke the very reason for the cost-of-living crisis, i.e. inflation. It would actually make things uh, worse. And they point to the fact that actually many public sector members do a hell of a lot better than the private sector equivalents, particularly when you take their entire enumeration, including pensions and stuff, involved as well. Though the unions feel that the government clearly could do more, and that is why they are turning the screws, frankly, on Downing Street and all this. We've seen a coordination now in these street strikes that we've not really seen uh, before, and it is across a whole range of sectors, Patrick. Nurses, posties, uh, baggage handlers at airports, teachers, nurses, ambulance drivers, railway workers. It goes on and on and on. And I think the big problem for the government is, frankly, there is no end in sight to all of this. The unions are insistent they will carry on with this uh, strike action beyond uh, Christmas, and this month's going to be pretty desperate with tens of thousands of days lost to strike action. Uh, and the big question for the government is, how do they play this? Yes, they talk about those minimal levels to try and prevent disruption, but that is in the future if they manage to pass the legislation here at Westminster. It's not going to help in the immediate term, and frankly, it's quite difficult and dangerous for the government because, yes, the public might well blame the unions if they get frustrated, but you know what? They might well blame the government too.